I use a carving hatchet. It's a carving tool that I made myself with carved handle, which is very convenient, ergonomic, and very convenient to use in the handle. Carving consists of two moves, pushing and lowering the heel. Handle used as a pry bar, which makes this tool very easy to handle and allows long curving without getting tired. Let's review simple beginner's carving moves. To carve a simple triangle, place a hatchet on the line and place the heel into the starting point. Push the heel down towards the middle. Move over, repeat, and so on. Make sure you place the hatchet under the angle, not vertically, but with a slight angle. Next, same moves. Heel on the point under the angle. Push the heel down. Move to the next line and repeat. And don't forget about the angle. Keep the same angle on every cut. Next, place on the point and finish the cut. Push the heel down and push towards, and so on. Very important to make cuts under the angle, never vertically. And clean it up if you miss something. On the circle, the same technique, place it on the point and push down and forward. And try to stay exactly on a line. Exactly on a line with the angle. Place it at the point, right at the line, and push down the heel and push forward towards the center point. Push the heel down, push towards the center, and so on. Keep the angle. Angle, push it towards the center. Opposite side, same movements. Heel down, push to the center, and triangle came out. Clean it up and repeat that move for the rest of the circle. Clean it up. To make a clean cut, you need to start feeling the heel is touching the middle. If you, for example, cut on the different angle and leave the space, next cut 
will result in triangle not coming out and you have to finish your first cut you have to move make like complete cut if you cut more not a big deal but you might end up with an overcut tip on the edge like that to make a perfect cut push the heel down so the cutting edge will meet the line place it on the line push the heel down and push to the center and here you go the triangle comes out cleanly To carve a flower, repeat the same moves. With the grain, start here, push and cut. Push and cut. You will feel more comfortable cutting against the grain with the experience. For now, go with the grain. Try to keep the same angle and move along the edge. Place the hatchet on a line under the angle and push it to the center. Again, on a line, push down the heel and push towards the center. Now with the grain, cut in this way. And clean it up whatever is left over there. Another way is start from the other end with the grain and cut the petal starting from the outer edge. One, two, three. And clean it up after those moves. Very simple with the same technique. One, two, three. Clean it up. Now let's review the angles. Place the hatchet with an angle, push, and you can see from the edge where it cuts. Same cut and angle from the other side. You will end up with a shallow cut. Now let's increase the angle, place it more vertically, cut. From the other side, you can see it makes a deeper cut. We'll call it a middle cut. Now, let's do more vertical angle. Cut from the other side, cut, and you will end up with a deeper cutout. We learned more vertical placement makes deeper cuts. Shallow placement makes shallow cuts. You can alternate cut angles to make carving more diverse looking. In my experience, middle cut makes it more appealing to the eye. Tips and then up not too sharp looking, which prevents it from chipping. And the shallow cut looks like an undercut.